All right, well, we're outside in the Nine News backyard, and I'm with Adam Thompson with the Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. And today we're going to talk about some late season landscaping tips. And summer's almost over. We're approaching fall. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be too late to get some planning done? Definitely not too late. You know, we can plant pretty late in the season, and one really great benefit for planting right now is you can get some discounts at the nurseries as they're clearing out their stock for winter. What you're going to want to do, though, we're not going to have the benefit of having that full summer season of irrigation to help those plants get established. So we want to go in with winter water. We want to do that with any plant that's establishing, but especially late season plant installations. What you do is just go out once a month from November to March and give those roots a good soak. That's going to help those roots get established. It's also going to help to fight off any mites that might be damaging those trees over winter. The other thing that we're going to want to do is tree wraps. Now tree wrap helps protect from sun scald, which a lot of our deciduous trees are very susceptible to in Colorado. And that's that rapid temperature change from the freeze to the sun blazing down on that trunk and it happens so fast the bark splits open and opens that pathway for pests and disease. All right and so as of course we're of course getting closer to fall what should we know about our irrigation systems this time of year what should we be doing to those? So you see the daytime temperatures we just saw you know they're still pretty high it's hot out right but our nighttime temperatures are dropping and that's what we really need to pay attention to as professionals we're starting to watch those nighttime temperatures and adjusting the system by using our seasonal adjust and altering our watering days we're going to stagger that program down until we reach the end of the season now that's pretty uh, tedious there's a lot to do. You can take a lot of the guesswork out by getting a smart irrigation controller. That's one of the reasons why we recommend them. And if you are planting plants late in the season, get yourself one of these backflow wrap bags. That's going to add a little bit of insulation and let you stretch out your water window to later in the season and give some protection from those short freezes. All right, great. And, you know, with planting, of course, planning ahead is always great. So we still have to get through fall, but as we make our way toward winter and next spring, what should we be doing with turf grass? How, how do we take care of that. So there's several things. First of all, the experts say if you're going to fertilize once all year, do it in the fall. That That's going to help that grass get that rich load of nitrogen that's going to enable it to emerge back in the spring green, lush, healthy. Uh, as com compared to a, a spring fertilization, some of them really encourage the grass to go really rapidly and then you're fighting that all spring. Uh, another thing that we want to do is aerations. We recommend them in spring and fall and that's going to go in. It's going to break up any soil compaction. It's going to help redistribute nutrients through the soil and it's going to enable <clears throat> excuse me enable air transfer between the roots and the air and then the last thing we recommend is fall overseeding those low nighttime temperatures we've got better moisture retention in the soil it's really the perfect environment for healthy establishment of seed all right sounds fantastic thank you so much for all of your help and if you'd like to review those tips we will have this story available for you to view on 9news.com